Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Sorry there's been kind of a lull in me uploading and I've not been uploading videos as frequently. We've been on vacation and traveling to North Carolina and we've also been sick in between those things. And there's also been kind of just like a lull in the business side of things, but I think we're about to overcome that and we should start be able to pick some stuff back up and hopefully that means more videos, more uploads and more interesting content for you to check out. So in this video, I will show you some of the pictures that Gabriella was able to capture at our photo shoot at Epcot that was talked about in the last vlog. And I'll put some clips from that vlog in this one as well, just in case you didn't see that one and you want to check it out. I also am going to be doing some embroidery and some prep work for hopefully the next set of products that are going to be coming into the shop. So if you like behind the scenes small business content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that I know to keep posting. So let's get into it. So right now we're in what we've designated as my office area. It's mostly being used for storage right now just because it's really close to the kids' bedroom and I don't really wanna do a lot of stuff in here while they're asleep. So nothing too crazy is going on in here, but I'm going to build some shelves that I bought quite a while ago and just never really got around to building. Um, so they're gonna be used for storage of like the bags when they get here and also probably some new products that I'm getting in that I'll probably talk about later on in the vlog or maybe even the next vlog. But I'm going to build these and I'm probably gonna do it sped up and talk to you about some updates on the bags in general. So let's do it. If this is your first video of mine that you've ever seen, then first of all, thank you so much for being here. And if it isn't your first video, then welcome back. If you're new, you probably don't know this, but my small business sells diaper bags and I've been waiting quite a while for my most recent order to actually come in. I actually ordered it back in early February, but there have been some major delays with my manufacturer and they finally said that they will get here to my house by June 25th. I had a pre-order open for these bags and thank you so much to those of you who have pre-ordered. I'm so excited for the bags to get here so I can get them to you. But this part has definitely been the most stressful part of this whole business thing. I probably should have canceled this order months ago and tried to find another supplier, but I really loved the samples and trusted that the bags would be worth it. And I'd also invested so much time and energy into photo shoots and waiting for the samples, so I didn't really want to have to start all over. So all of that to say that owning a business is not a super chill experience at all and there are bumps along the way, but I'm choosing to trust the process and just keep positive at all times because I know that once the bags actually get here and get to people, people are going to love them like I do and I'll be so excited to share their cuteness with the world. So yeah, that's my little chit chat about bag updates. So thanks for listening to that.
these shells are actually pretty tricky to pry apart. I had to use all of my like nail bed strength to get them apart and it did not feel very good and it took a long time. So I don't know what the deal with that was, but I made it work. So here they are fully built. Um, on camera, they don't look that small, but in my mind, based on kind of like the Amazon pictures and also just like how big the package they came in, it just, they seem really small, but I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll like put that one in front of that one. They came with these little like clips that you can use to kind of put them together. So maybe I'll do that, but Yep, that's what we're working with. So I think they'll do fine, but just kind of funny how they seem so small. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do a test design on one of my test shirts to see if I want to stock this in my shop. I always think it's a good idea to do a test shirt just to test placement as well as if you think it's gonna look good or not. The shirts that I'm going to be using for the final products are Bella Canvas brand, which are really soft but are also relatively lightweight. So when doing a design, it has to not be super dense or large because that can make it look kind of weird and heavy on the front of a Bella Canvas shirt.
I got the design for this t-shirt off of Etsy, but I had it digitized with my normal digitizer. Um, I'll have them linked below just in case you want to check them out. embroidery sounds in three, two, one. Okay, so here are my thoughts. I think it's cute, but I think for the t-shirts that I am currently embroidering on, I think that this is going to be way too much because it's pretty big. It's a pretty big design, and I think it would work way better with a um, sweatshirt. It's like, yeah, so this is on the right side. Just, it looks... It just looks too big, and I think it's just not going to look very good because, I mean, this, like, small text is not super good. So I think it'd be better if it was bigger and on like a sweatshirt or maybe like a tote bag or something. It just, it's just not exactly what I envisioned it looking on the t-shirt. So if you look at it, it just looks really big. Yeah, so I think this is another good reason to always do a test shirt because had I done that on one of my shirts, I would have wasted a shirt, so yeah. Glad I did that. Now, I guess we can move on and try a different one. So if you recognize the outfit I am, that is because I just filmed the intro to this video. But right now I'm going to be prepping some hang tags. So the next couple products I'm going to get, um, I'm going to put a hang tag around them. And same with um, some of the bags that are gonna come in. So once the bags comes in, I'm going to send them to Amazon, list them on my Etsy and on my personal Shopify website. But I'm also planning on doing a couple of markets in the future. And so I think a hang tag would be a good thing to use. Um, and the same with like, I have a new product coming in that I don't want to talk about yet, um, but it should be in the next video because hopefully they come soon because I kind of want it to be like an unboxing, like surprise situation. So here is how I'm making the hang tags. I ordered these business cards from Vistaprint. So I just got these little rectangle business cards. Let's see if I can get the focus on it. And then it has like, you know, all the business information and then to check us out on YouTube I've got a little QR code and so I just took these and I'm going to take a little hole punch and this hole punch is a star I also got a heart one and I'm gonna try to figure out how to turn it upside down because the way it is if I punched it the heart would be upside down so I'm gonna do the star at first so all I'm really gonna do is just take it and then put where I want to put the hole I don't want to put it too far down and then I'm just gonna go punch. And then I'll just put my little hang tag piece of fabric through that hole. So I'm gonna try to do about, I'm gonna say a hundred of these. So I'm gonna speed this up because it's probably gonna take me a second. So let's watch. This is just one of those small things that take some extra effort that I think looks so cute and can make all the difference.
I ended up doing 69 which is a good amount in one sitting because my hand was getting a little crampy but I just put a little placeholder in the box they came in so I knew which ones were done and I can revisit them later. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so thank you so much if you made it this far and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!